Hey everybody, we are back with our Saturday Topic of the Week video, and this one comes courtesy of Ferris Soul, the top video games we're looking forward to this year. We decided to expand that topic to include the top everything, video <laughs> games, TV, and films that we're looking forward to for the rest of the year. So, we will start with games, yes. since that was the uh, suggested topic. Alright, the number, well, we'll go in reverse order. Okay. I'm looking really forward to Madden 16, first of all. I, pl I play Madden every year. I Yeah, I go out and I buy the new game every <laughs> single year. It's, uh... <laughs> I really enjoy sports game. Madden is kind of my sports game, so that's just... That's my thing. We're also looking forward to Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah, the last Assassin's Creed, not as good as the other ones, but... You know, it, it, it was still pretty good. I mean, even for a... A bad Assassin's yeah, Creed game is still, still pretty good. still better than most other games. <laughs> okay, we're also looking forward to Batman Arkham Knight. And that one comes out here pretty soon. And I'm super excited for that one because we get to drive the Batmobile. <laughs> and I think that's really, really cool. Also excited for Mad Max. The movie was fantastic. Now I can't wait for the video game. It looks so much fun. If you haven't seen the, the, the gameplay trailers for Mad Max or even the cinematic trailer, Check it out. It was <laughs> awesome. And the number one game I'm looking forward to this year, anyway, is Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, mm -hmm. it's been so long since we've had a really, really good Star Wars console game. I'm excited for this one. And, of course, it's on PC as well, but <laughs> I'll be playing it on PS4. All right, so now um, let's move to movies, because those are the games that we're excited for this year. Movies. We're going to go in order of when they're coming out. So number one is going to be, uh, I'm going to let you do number one, because I really want to do number two, so. Poltergeist. <laughs> and I, I am terrified to see this movie, and he's going to make me go see it. I'm going to scream like a little sissy. <laughs> so check out the trailer. It, is, it looks terrifying. It, it's so scary and awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Number two is Jurassic World. <laughs> I'm actually really excited Oh my gosh. Episode. Like, I love Jurassic Park. I love all of Jurassic Park and all of its corniness. And so when I heard they were making Jurassic World, I was super excited. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, this actually looks good. Mm -hmm. Which was a pleasant surprise because I didn't expect it to be very good. But it looks phenomenal and I'm loving that um, Chris Pratt's character is going to be like, the raptor whisperer and like wrangles them and stuff at least that's what it looks like from the trailer and it's phenomenal awesome okay we're also looking forward to ted 2 we did our live trailer reaction for that so you know it's going to be hysterical yeah i'm uh, i'm looking forward to that one next is inside out uh this was actually this is actually his I love oh, we're pixar. going in order if you and, don't like uh, pixar there's something <laughs> wrong with you i like pixar i just uh, this movie uh, nah. <laughs> i'm excited for it i'll see it damn it <laughs> Okay, Ant-Man. When I first heard they were doing an Ant-Man movie, I was like, oh, God, they're doing an Ant-Man movie? And then this trailer hit, and it looks amazing. It looks really... I was the same. I was like, Ant-Man? Really? Like, that's the lamest superhero ever. Not because I have any idea who Ant-Man is. It just sounds like a lame superhero. But, yeah, then we saw the trailer, and I was like, oh, my God. And af after seeing what they did with the trailer for Ant-Man, I'm looking for... Because, of course, Hank Pym, later on in the comics, he becomes Giant Man. I'm like, man, what are they going to do with that? <laughs> So I'm really super excited for uh, for Ant Man now. Uh, Fantastic Four. This is me. He he's not really into it. I've never really been into Fantastic Four. I've I haven't even seen the other movies. I haven't read any of the comics. But after seeing the trailer, this looks really good. And I'm like, this actually makes me want to get into Fantastic Four. It makes me want to watch this movie and see where the the origins and stuff are. And of, of course. course. <laughs> The movie we are most looking forward to this year, Star Wars The Force yes. Awakens. Oh my gosh. So much, yes. It looks so good. Like it's... Oh, I can't wait for a regular trailer instead of just the teaser trailers. Oh, yeah. That's it for um, movies that come out this year that we're excited about. Now let's go to TV shows. And in no particular order... Right. Um, these... this, this list will, in will include... Uh, shows that are returning from hiatus and brand new shows. Yes, it's it's anything that's going to be coming on this this year from now on to the end. Uh, so the first one is a new show, Fear of the Walking Dead. I'm really excited for this because the comics are phenomenal, the Walking Dead TV show is phenomenal, and um, Kirkman writes books uh, with Jay Bonazinga, and the books are phenomenal. So like. 
literally anything that's been touched by The Walking Dead has been phenomenal. So I'm really excited to see this new spinoff sequel. I'm or looking forward. Spinoff series. <laughs> I, uh, I'm looking forward to getting a different perspective because this is going to be earlier in the turn in a different uh, region. Yeah. So I'm excited to see you know how everything got started, the the news reports that went out, that kind of stuff. This looks this sounds in theory like it's going to be really really yes. good. And right now everything that uh, Robert Kirkman touched turns to gold. Yes. So super excited for that. And of course we're looking forward to the Fear of the Walking Dead, and we're looking forward to. The, the Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. It's, we're going to get season six here coming up, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yes. Stay tuned for a uh, response video to uh, Meg Stanfield's channel, a video that she did talking about the top five things from the comics that she's looking forward to see during season six. We will do a response video for that. Off topic of this video a little <laughs> bit, but I just wanted to throw just that out heads there. up. <laughs> We're also really looking forward to Supergirl. I just saw the trailer for this today, and oh my gosh, it looks really, really awesome. I can't wait. And her outfit is just phenomenal. I have a, I have a very, very good feeling that that's going to end up on my cosplay list. <laughs> Whether it gets done or not, I don't know, because a lot of things end up on the list. But it, it looks really fun. It looks, it's kind of, it reminds me of Smallville a little bit, yeah. only a little more upbeat. Because Smallville was Smallville, <laughs> because Smallville was kind of a downer a lot of the time yeah and i don't get that vibe at least from the the big long six minute trailer so this looks kind of upbeat yep. fun show while i was watching the trailer i in the back of my mind i was like oh this is very small village um and it's just like like he said it's like a happier version of smallville we're looking forward to the return of Gotham. Gotham got a ton of hate yeah. during season oh, but one. It was so good. But it was such a good show. It did not deserve the hate get that it got. I still don't really understand where it came from, mm -hmm. but it was an excellent show, and we're looking forward to that one coming back. And a new show, Heroes Reborn. Um, They're kind of a reboot slash yeah, sequel. Yeah, reboot, yeah. Uh, from the original Heroes series, uh, which I haven't actually made it all the way through yet, so I've got to now binge watch that this summer so that I'm all caught up. <laughs> Super excited for that one. We're also excited for Lucifer. Yes. Lucifer is going to be on Fox, and what Lucifer is about is the devil has come to Earth to basically just kind of have some fun and cut loose a little bit, and he is witness to a murder. And, he and just, it's like a friend of his. Yeah, or a, you know, a friend. friend. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a woman who, whose soul he's trying to steal or something. Who knows what's yeah, really going yeah, on. Yeah, we don't, don't really know. Don't get a good sense of that in the trailer. But she gets murdered in a drive-by. And he decides that he is going to help the police solve that crime and presumably future crimes. What it seemed like to me is like he helped solve that because he knew her. And he just had so much fun. He decided, well, I should just stay here and do this. Who's yeah. going to stop me? I'm the devil. And of course, he, he's the devil, and he kind of gets people to, he tricks them into giving away their deepest, darkest secrets and desires, and that's how he, uh, you know, gets people to confess things like murder and whatever. Yeah. So. It looks really, really and good. And it looks super funny. Yeah. So, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, go see the, go watch the trailer, because it looks, it looks amazing. So, but of course, it's on Fox, so you know they're going to show everything out of order, and then cancel, and then cancel it after, after 13. And then cancel after season. Cancel it after 13 episodes, so. Um, and then two years later, we'll get a movie. Yes. We're also <laughs> looking forward to Minority Report. I oh, really, wow. really like the movies. So it's going to be um, exciting to see it come to TV. Yeah. And, and the uh, the novella was really, really good. The movie was, for a Tom Cruise movie, it was fucking good. Yeah, movie. I don't know why I pluralized movie, that's but, funny. you know, whatever. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> it's, uh, for a Tom Cruise movie, it was one of my, uh, one of the, it's one of the few Tom Cruise movies that I yeah, actually enjoyed. Ditto. It was very, very good. And we're looking forward to the return of Scorpion. Scorpion is probably was the best new show on television this season. Yeah. And we're looking forward to getting that back. It was very good. If you didn't check out Scorpion, it's about a super genius named Walter O'Brien. who and his team of and, geniuses. And his team of geniuses called Scorpion. And they help the government, specifically Homeland Security, solve world, na nation slash world threatening yeah. Uh, crimes and, and basically they, they solve they help them solve crimes in a way that nobody else can yeah. they they think uh they, they are able to like think of different situations or different scenarios to get out of whatever problem the mm -hmm. government is in they have sylvester who's a math super genius mm -hmm. happy is a mechanical, a mechanical prodigy, prodigy. <laughs> they have their behaviorist toby yes and Paige, who 
isn't she, like them. But she's normal, but she helps them relate to her <laughs> son. If you've seen it, you're laughing with she, us right now. She, they help her relate to her son, Ralph. <laughs> and together, we are Scorpion. Yeah, so you can see we kind of fell in love with that show. Yeah. It's not really a show that is uh, conducive to reviewing, though. No, it's really not. So that's why, you know, we're, we're kind of obsessed with that show, but we never did any reviews for it. Anyway, that is it on that our is list. Everything yes. that we're looking forward to for the rest of the year. I'm. I would like to know what you guys are yes. looking forward to. If there's something on your list that would that's not on ours, let us know about it. Yeah. Maybe we haven't heard about. Yeah, it. a lot of the films we we like went online and we looked through the films that are coming out, and a lot of them I hadn't even heard of. So if there's one that's coming out that's kind of like an independent that we haven't really heard a lot about, but you think is going to be amazing, let us know. We'll check out the trailer. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we do a Saturday Topic of the Week video, like today. And we are always in need of topics. So if you have a topic that you would like us to talk about, put that in the comments below. It does not have to be about video games, movies, TV shows. It doesn't have to be about anything that we've done videos on already. Just anything in the nerddom that you are curious about our reaction to. And we will make a video for it and put it up on Saturday. The way it works is we'll go through all of the, the suggestions, pick the one we think that we can make the best video from, and then that's the one we'll use. Okay, I think <laughs> that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.